Virgin Galactic's announcement yesterday that it will lay off workers and pause space flights have some people worried about the future of the taxpayer-funded spaceport America. Tonight we talked to the executive director of the spaceport and state lawmakers about those concerns. Virgin Galactic's announcement to investors that it would lay off 18% of its workforce and pause space flights next year sounded like a major blow to Spaceport America. It has some state lawmakers saying, I told you so. Something that I've been saying was likely for probably well over five years now. Senator Joseph Cervantes represents part of Doña Ana County. The business model was not uh, paying dividends. The stock price had collapsed. Uh, there was not a business model or business plan that looked viable. But the executive director of Spaceport America is urging patience. It all makes sense when you look at what they're trying to do and in, in trying to get to very consistent and regular operations. So I don't like that there's a pause. You know, we've had those in the past now, but they did go to space six times this year. Scott McLaughlin insists the pause in flights won't reduce Virgin Galactic's lease payments to Spaceport America, which run through 2033. McLaughlin says the latest numbers show that since the start of 2022, Spaceport America has created more than 800 jobs and brought $60 million of new money to the region. But New Mexico taxpayers have spent far more on their bet on space tourism. And it's been a struggle in, the, in it's been about a 15, 20 year struggle with them uh, to figure out how we're going to make the spaceport successful. We spent a lot of money. We spent probably over $300 million in that spaceport. I understand that. I'm a taxpayer too. Uh, I would like to have things to have gone faster, but we're also in an incredibly uh, uh, fast moving market now in commercial aerospace. Even as Virgin Galactic ramps down flights, McLaughlin insists that New Mexico is perfectly positioned for the relaunch. Space and commercial space is booming. And New Mexico can be a major player in that. And that is that is something that without the spaceport, we'd have no chance. So I really hope the taxpayers and the legislators will stick with this. They need to look at that broader market and realize that New Mexico is, is doing something incredible in the right place at the right time. There's also concern that Virgin Galactic might leave Spaceport America as its business grows. McLaughlin says the company has already invested in FAA and environmental clearances at the spaceport, and it would be expensive to start over somewhere else.